This review has been long, long, long overdue, brothers and sisters, but we're finally getting around to doing it. We're going to be reviewing this amazing book, The Divine Reality, God, Islam, and the Mirage of Atheism. Brothers and sisters, Salaam Alaikum first and foremost. This book, if you have any questions regarding atheism, if you have any questions regarding Islam and atheism, if you have any questions regarding the intellectual foundations of Islam, if you want to learn more about these topics, if you have been approached by maybe some atheists who have, you know, told you such and such argument against God's existence and has left you a little bit, you know, left you thinking, so on and so forth. Anything like this, brothers and sisters, this is the book that you need. This is the book that you need, brothers and sisters. This, I would say, is probably the only book in the English language which comprehensively deals with this idea, this philosophy of atheism, and in particular in relation to Islam. This is a phenomenal book. It's written by brother Hamza Dotsis. I know him personally. He's a dear brother. And I can't say much about, too much about this book, right? I can't say enough. I can't say enough, literally. Now, what I want to do in this series, brothers and sisters, is I want to do a review of this particular book. I want to be, share some, some of the amazing content in this book. I want to share the structure of the book. I want to share some of the arguments in this book, just to give you guys a bit of a taste and a feel as to what you will be going through when you go through this book. And I guarantee you, brothers and sisters, this is something you need to read for yourselves, and this is something you need to read for your children. This is something our children need to read, especially in the climate that we live in, in the world that we live in, right? Now, I would even encourage that atheists need to read this book. Atheists need to read this book, because although my summaries may be a bit, you can say, harsh at some times, and so on and so forth, however, Hamza, the way he's written this book is very, in a very academic manner, very, very academic manner. He's very balanced. He's very nuanced. He, he looks at both sides of the spectrum, you know. So for the atheist, this will be a fantastic read too. Now, what I want to do in this particular episode is just to give you guys a summary, right? Now, what you're going to expect from this book. Although you may be thinking, Hamza Dots is the divine reality, atheism, it's going to be a very philosophical book, it may be a bit dry, you know, you may get, you may have to just, you know, go through a lot of deep philosophical discussion. That's not the case, right? The way Hamza has structured this book is phenomenal because it begins off, with his journey, right? Following his journey, he goes into sort of breaking down and discussing atheism, right? Just so we understand atheism properly, because sometimes we get carried away and we, we, you know, we say atheists are this, and we just categorize them and put them in this, in this, on this, in this bubble, and that's it. But he goes into atheism, the history of atheism, breaking down atheism, the difference between atheism and naturalism, mesotheism, all of these ideas and, and philosophies, right? He goes through all of this, and then. Before he gets into the arguments, the strong, powerful arguments that we have in our tradition, which absolutely just demolish this worldview, this idea of atheism, right? And show why Islam is the truth and the strong intellectual foundations of Islam. Before he goes into these arguments, he basically touches upon the reality of atheism on a very personal level, right? He goes right down to what it means for the person, for the individual, for that self, that individual, what it means to adopt atheism as a worldview or ideology. And we're going to discuss this when we go through that particular chapter. And then after that, he goes through some of the most powerful arguments, such as the Quranic argument for God's existence, the argument from reason. He goes through the, the argument of, well, it's called here divine singularity. Then also, is God merciful, the moral argument, and so on and so forth, right? Problem of evil, he touch, touches upon all of these things. And then finally, you know, he concludes in a very beautiful way because he goes straight to the crux of the matter, straight to the most important thing, you know, or what should be the most important thing for us human beings, which is why are we here? How does all of this that we've just covered in this book relate to our existence, relate to the purpose of our life, brothers and sisters? He goes into the aspect of worship, right? Why does God deserve our worship? You know, and, and, and he really breaks this down in a very beautiful way, in a way that not only Muslims, but non-Muslims too will appreciate. And this is basically a summary of the breakdown of the chapters, brothers and sisters. And what I'm going to be doing over the next, say, couple of episodes is I'm going to be going through some of the beautiful chapters in this book and giving you guys some more of an insight to how the chapters read, some of the content and some of the powerful arguments that are presented here. So brothers and sisters, I really, really recommend you guys pick up this book Right, pick up this book, The Divine Reality, you can get it on Amazon. If you are from the Arab speaking world, you can get this Arabic version. I don't know where you can access this or where you can get this, but here it is. This is the cover. So if you guys look for this, I'm sure you will find it. 
But for everyone else, pick this copy up, brothers and sisters. You won't be disappointed. This will probably be the only book that you need to read on this subject. And you can get it on Amazon, like I've said. So make sure you pick up a copy. And in the next episode, I'm going to be going through some of those chapters in much more detail. Jazakallah khair, brothers and sisters. May Allah bless you all. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.